The first report help recording on the structure of the report made reference to an outlier section. While I won't repeat what I covered in the first recording, I did just want to remind you that the first help session included more detail on how to write this section of the report. Whereas the aim of this session is to focus on the practical working that we need to do. Before we do any analysis of data, we should consider the possibility of outliers. As we have seen during the lectures, their presence can cause numerical measures to be distorted. The idea is therefore to consider the possibility of outliers before undertaking any of the other analysis. And an early section within the report is therefore logical so as to make clear that this analysis has been included and therefore to clearly define the data set that will be used for the remainder of the report. In terms of calculations for this report, you only need to consider the possibility of outliers for the exam results data as this is our focus. And if you do find any outliers, you will need to then think about whether to leave them within the data set or remove them completely such that the whole row would be deleted. So the best way to check for outliers is to calculate the z-score for each data value and this requires that we calculate the mean and standard deviation of the data first. We can use the average and standard deviation functions in Excel to get these values for the exam results column of data. And so we can calculate these in any of the empty cells to the right of the block of data. In Excel, remember we must indicate that we are calculating a function by using the equals symbol to start our formula. If we type into, say, cell I2, equals, average, then open the brackets, block on column A and then close brackets, we will get the average. And if we type into cell I3 equals STDV, our standard deviation function, open brackets, then block on column A, then close the brackets, we will get the sample standard deviation. We can then use column F to create the z-score of each exam result. To do this, we use the standardized formula to calculate the z-score. So for example, to get the z-score of the first exam result in cell A2, we would type equals standardize open brackets A2, so that's our reference to the exam result, comma, I2, that's our reference to the mean, comma, I3, that's our reference to standard deviation, and then close the brackets. And so this would go into cell F2. We put dollar signs around the column and row parts of the I2 and I3 cell references to create what is known as an absolute reference. By including these symbols, when you cut and paste the first formula down through the F column, Excel will automatically update the A column reference, so that each row refers to the correct exam result for that row, but it will leave the references to I2 and I3 fixed, which is what we want, since this is where the average and standard deviation values are that we need to use in every calculation. The formula can then be copied and pasted down the column so as to get the z-score for all exam results. Remember that a z-score of more than three standard deviations above or below the mean suggests that the value is an outlier. If you haven't already sorted your data based on exam results, use a custom sort to do this by blocking on all columns of the data from column A through to column F where the z-scores are contained. Then click on the sort and filter button and do a custom sort so that you can select to sort on the basis of either column A or column F. You'll get the same result either way. Then it's just a matter of scanning through the column to see if you have any z-scores of more than positive 3 or less than negative 3. Depending on what you find, you will then need to decide whether or not to remove any outliers. 
The main thing to keep in mind is that you'll need to justify your decision. And so while potentially we can leave in or remove outliers, you should think about what we are trying to achieve with this report to help make and justify any decision.